We're going to use offbeat timing in order to land the jab and then follow up with the low kick. So from here, we're going to start out by tapping uh, my opponent's glove. So I'm just trying to measure and I'm trying to get my timing down, my distance down, measuring, timing down. So that's all I'm doing here. And then from there, when I'm ready, I'm going to throw a jab and then a low kick. But it's not going to be a standard jab. So I'm not doing this, coming back here, and then throwing the jab. She's going to know that. She's covering up already. It's going to be uh, very uh, sneaky. So from here, I'm tapping the jab, and then I throw the low kick. So as soon as I tap, she's thinking that I'm going to come back here and then jab. But instead, I'm jabbing, and then I'm continuing. Or I'm tapping her glove, and then I'm continuing with the jab. So I tap, boom. Low kick. Now it's going to be a lot harder for her to lift up that leg to block. Now we'll change and then show the, the same technique from the other side. So again, I'm tapping here, getting my uh, distance down, tap, jab, and then I go for that low kick. So when I'm throwing that low kick again, I'm stepping slightly to the side. I'm not standing here because maybe I didn't do as much of a good job with that jab as I thought I did and she's able to counter me with that straight right. So I have to make sure I still step to the side so if she does Counter, go ahead, you throw the straight right, but throw it directly at my, at my face, right after I throw that jab. So I'm here tapping, jab, you see that? How much she's missing me, she went directly for my head, but she just hit my shoulder, so I'm okay. And I wasn't really even trying to go on an angle, this is just my natural way of moving my body uh, on that low kick. So you, you, you want to shift it slightly to the side in order to be as safe as possible. 